Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, August 24th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SBCA of Anne Arundel County. What a spectacular day it was yesterday. It was perfect for a walk in the morning and perfect again for a short bike ride in the evening. Hey, George, if you are listening, I will take a bunch more of those. Thank you. And remember, be sure to sign up for our newest free offering, the Daily News Recap email. It is free, and every night you'll get a top local news story sent right to your inbox at 7 p.m. It's perfect if you just want a brief recap of the local news you may have missed throughout the day, all without a paywall. I'll drop a link right here in the show notes. All right, we do have a little bit of news, so we probably should get into it. So, shall we? Today is the day if you are a Kia or Hyundai owner. The Anne Arundel County Police are handing out free steering wheel locks from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. up at the Arundel Mills Mall. It'll be in the Cinemark parking lot. This is in response to the number of Kia and Hyundai thefts. It is a first-come, first-served situation, and quantities are limited. You must be 18 or older, live in the county, and own a Kia or Hyundai. So bring your license and registration. All right, now we have a bunch of school news. Statewide, the standardized test results are in, and they are showing some big strides in English across the state, but only slight increases in math, which is concerning. However, the most concerning thing is that the gap between white and black and Latino students is improving, but not to the degree that it should. The Blueprint for a Better Future has some work to do for sure, and we don't know the school level data just yet because the Department of Education will release that a little bit later in September. Not terribly local, but very interesting. Coppin State University, one of Maryland's HBCUs, has announced that they will now accept in-state tuition for out-of-state students in 30 states and territories. This is the latest attempt to stop a 46% drop in enrollment over the last 10 years, and I think this is really risky for quite a few reasons. Will the reduced tuition actually cover their cost? If not, where is that money going to come from? And will this open the door to other HBCUs or any state school, for that matter, asking for the same deal? It would seem like it might. This may be the end of -of out-of-state tuition in Maryland. And let's be real, with the shortcoming in funds, we have to come from the state also known as taxes. I had a thought that might be a good idea to determine how many seats are available at Coppin and then focus on kids in socioeconomically challenged areas who want to go to school and let them go for free. This can take many kids who are destined to a life of generational poverty and give them the leg up that they need that they may not have had. But what do I know? St. John's College here in Annapolis announced their fall lecture series, which gets underway this Friday. They're generally on Fridays through early December at the Key Auditorium, and the topics are always very interesting. They are free and open to the public, and this year there should be plenty of space as the renovations on the auditorium are complete. We do have a full list of the topics and the dates at ionanapolis.net, so do check that out and see if you can attend one or many. Hey, who wants to fly to Tampa for 39 bucks? Count me in. Frontier Airlines just announced new daily flights from BWI to Tampa beginning on November 16th. As to that $39 fare, it is an introductory fare, so it will definitely change and go up. But Frontier is known as a low-cost carrier, so definitely expect much more affordable fares. Tickets for the 18th annual Boatyard Beach Bash at the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park are dwindling. September 9th is the date, so you want to go get those tickets right now at amaritime.org. It is an open bar and a meal, plenty of music, and a lot of fun. And be sure to check out the schedule for September's Sunset Concert Series. You can do that either at ionanapolis.net or amaritime.org. All right, that's all I've got news-wise. Podcast stuff up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight. We're going to hear from Joanne Matson and Stare, which is Start the Adventure in Reading. All right, and that is a wrap. 
As always, thank you for being you, and thank you to the sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Alpha Engineering, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. So now you just need to hang tight because we have George from DC MDVA Weather with the only locally forecast weather report you will find. And of course, we have Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace right here with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. All that coming right up, so hang tight. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, August 24th. Another pretty nice late August day yesterday for the Annapolis region, but clouds did start to move in during the PM hours, and there might be some showers and storms today and tomorrow, and possibly even Saturday now, as a series of frontal boundaries moves through the region before skies clear again for Sunday. Look for mostly cloudy skies today with a chance for some scattered rain with highs in the low to mid 80s, with more showers and storms expected Friday with warmer highs in the upper 80s to mid-90s in spots across all of Anne Arundel County. With temps now looking like they'll stay on the warm side Saturday, ahead of a cold front with high Saturday again in the upper 80s to lower 90s, and a small but valid chance for maybe a few additional scattered showers or storms before skies then clear nicely for Sunday, with sunshine in low to mid-80s, with the outlook for the first day back to school for some on Monday being sunshine and highs 80 to 85 degrees. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So... What keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. At Knits and Pieces off of Esgate Road, on Saturday, their intermediate sweater knitting class concludes. But on Monday, check out their Learn the Brioche Technique by making a Flamingo Baby Cardigan, the first of four classes. And registration is open for classes coming up later in August and September, including Socks 101, How to Knit with Two Colors, a Techniques class making beautiful bobbles, and a few others. 
at the Wildberry Farm and Market out near Gambrels. Check out their Wildberry Field Market coming up again on Saturday with local vendors, food trucks, and fun for the kids at Whole Foods in Annapolis. Today, their Half Pine Kids Club is doing Monkey Toast with one session at 11 a.m. and another one at 1 p.m. And then on Tuesday, their Half Pine Kids Club is doing Breakfast Parfaits at Local by Design. It's time for their monthly Annapolis Artisans Market where you can visit their shop, meet some of their in-house artists, and shop for some great gifts. At Art Farm in Annapolis, there's one more session of Beat Making with Machine coming up on Monday, and that's the end of their summer semester. But registration is open for their fall classes coming up in a couple of weeks, including more beat making, a family clay class, cartooning, painting, and more. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week, today Bush Annapolis has preschool craft, Edgewater has crafty seniors, Linthicum has build and play with Lego, Glen Burnie has Glen Burnie Creates, making Renfest accessories, since the Renfest starts up this weekend, and Odenton has a paint night. Tomorrow, Discoveries the Library at the Mall has a pre-K art party. On Saturday, Crofton has Ask a Master Gardener, and Discoveries has Create Your Own Back to School swag. On Monday, Crofton has their Crofton House Plant Club. Tuesday, Bush Annapolis is doing a tour of their makerspace, and Brooklyn Park is doing a paint and sip. And then on Wednesday, Eastport Annapolis Neck has a pre-K build and play. Crofton has their Farm Unity Harvest Festival, where you can check out their community garden and celebrate their first harvest. You can sample some of their vegetables that they grew, enjoy a potluck provided by the volunteers, and make seed bombs. Over at Broadneck on Wednesday, they have a paint night with a summer theme, and Odenton is making terrariums. And up at Unallocated Space in Severn, tonight they have a virtual happy hour. Tomorrow is another DEFCON 443 cybersecurity meetup. Saturday they're having an epic LAN party, playing multiplayer games, competitive and co-op, from noon till midnight. Monday is their weekly project night, and Wednesday is their weekly open house. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Advanced illness decisions aren't always easy. Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, wants you to know you do have a choice over who provides care, what type of care, and when and where your loved one receives that care. Learn more at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the I on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, iamannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at I on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.